Let's now talk about what's happening in Canada. Around 70,000 international graduates there are reportedly facing the prospect of deportation due to new changes in the immigration policy. Canadian provinces like British Columbia, Ontario, Manitoba, Prince Edward Island reportedly witnessed protests by Indian students. What lies at the heart of this crisis is the recent policy change that slashed permanent residency nominations by 25%, leaving many students in a rather precarious situation. You see, the Canadian government, recognizing the economic benefits brought by these students, allowed the influx to continue, but now the Canadian government reportedly is facing backlash domestically, as the system is crippling under the weight of this growth. As per reports, the Indian population in Canada surged from around 670,000 in 2000 to over a million by 2020. Reportedly, the arrival of people from across the world has put unprecedented pressure on Canada's housing, healthcare, and other essential services. In response to mounting public discontent over these strains, the Trudeau administration has imposed a two year cap. On the number of new study permits, this cap is expected to limit approvals to about 360,000 permits in 2024, a 35% drop from 2023. Furthermore, Immigration Minister Mark Miller announced a ban on flag polling, the practice where temporary residents exit and re-enter Canada to hasten permit applications, impacting the students' ability to secure post-graduation work permits. You see, these permits are extremely important, especially for international students, for getting employment and eventually permanent residency. Additionally, the Trudeau administration has announced a reduction in temporary foreign workers employed in low-wage jobs. Employers are now restricted to hiring just 10% of their workforce through temporary foreign workers, barring a few exceptions in sectors like agriculture, food processing, construction, healthcare. Furthermore, the maximum employment duration for these workers will be cut from two years to just 12 months. As per reports, India is the second largest contributor of temporary foreign workers to Canada after Mexico, providing more than 26,000 such workers last year. With Canada's population exceeding 41 million in early 2024, the stakes for these workers are higher than ever. International students who initially envisioned a new life in Canada are now rallying against these restrictive measures, demanding that the government extend postgraduate work permits, streamline pathways to permanent residency, and address systemic exploitation issues. The reductions prompted significant protests from Indian students, with demonstrations ongoing for over 110 days in some parts of Canada. Reports say that many students and temporary workers who have integrated into the Canadian society and contributed economically argue that the current system does not meet the needs of the thousands of qualified candidates left in limbo. In Brampton, Ontario, discontent has sparked protests against the notion that international students are responsible responsible for local housing and job shortages. In Manitoba, students and workers are concerned about the expiration of work permits. While in British Columbia, they are pressing the Canadian government to expedite immigration application processing as they are at the risk of deportation. And as the protests continue, the Canadian government faces mounting pressure to address the concerns of international students and temporary foreign workers, along with the growing pressures domestically. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.